Hi, Black from Football Boots, so Code UK, and today I'm boxing a brand new Itch Pack Ace Leather 16.1 Football Boot by Adidas. Let's get the boots out of the box and the box out of the way. So, featuring kangaroo leather uppers, the Itch Pack includes a white out X15 range as well. So, a purest stream. The design of the new Ace is very simple as it boasts a completely white colorway with touches of metallic gold as seen on the Adidas 3 stripes and branding. The golden details have been etched onto the Adidas 3 stripes and branding for a classy effect. So bring the boot closer so we, close, so we have a closer look at the design. The entire boot is white, a really sort of clean looking design. Golden touches are seen on the heel with the Adidas logo, the kangaroo leather mark on the lateral side of the heel here. Etched on is the Adidas 3 stripes on both sides of the boot, really classy design. Now this is a sort of sample pair, as you can see it's a sample version here. And it, it does have some sort of minor differences to the standard retail version. So on the tongue here, it's got another ACE logo. It's been etched on the outline. On the standard retail version, you'll see that the ACE logo is actually colored completely in. On to the sock liner, we've got a nice little etch pack text there with that ACE logo on top. Really sort of classy sole sock liner there. On to the sole, it's the total control sole seen in the ACE 15 silo. The standard retail version has the ground control 2.0 stud system and sprint frame design. So that is another difference there. But overall, a really sort of clean and classy look by Adidas Football. Big fan. So in terms of tech specs, this edition is virtually the same as a standard leather Ace 16.1, bar a few minor differences, as I just mentioned a few before. So the Edge Leather Ace opts for a K leather vamp, but this time around the leather extends right to the heel. On the standard version, the leather is just featured on the toe box. This, so this to me is the biggest change. As you can see, the leather stamp is featured on the heel as I saw before. So in, ha in hand, the upper, the K leather is actually quite soft. It's not super soft. It's not as soft as some of the other K leather vamps I've felt before, but it's certainly quite soft. Another difference is that we see fewer stitching lines on the toe box. The standard edition uses four horizontal lines of stitching, while this edition just uses three. So performance wise, this may mean it may flex differently on the toe box, which may mean it feels slightly different in that region, but no big deals there. So you've only got three stitching lines. So I'll just bring it closer. So one here, two there, and three there. On the standard leather edition, we've got four. So it's one, two, three, four. So in the standard edition, it's probably gonna flex a lot easier than this one. You're gonna flex that boot in that region there. So yeah, it may feel slightly different in the toe box. So the tongue itself is again made of K leather and features memory foam for a very comfortable fit straight out of the box. A central lacing system is used rather than an off-center lacing system used on the Ace 15 Solo for a more traditional fit. So this version uses the hard ground total control sole used on the Ace 15.1 silos. The standard version will use the sprint frame and ground control 2.0 stud system, which is much lighter and flexible. The total control sole uses a total of 46 conical studs for use on firm and artificial ground surfaces. The sole and thus use an internal heel counter rather than an external heel counter seen on the standard retail version. Further touches see several suede linings applicated inside these boots on the sock liner and on the heel lining, which will add that comfortable and traditional feeling inside these boots. So I'll just whip out the sock liner here so we have a look at it. So as you can see, it's pretty classy sort of sock liner, white out with that sort of X pack on the heel there. Pretty standard in terms of sock liners. So fit wise, you should expect a wide yet locked down fit in these boots. This boot uses the total control sole, as I mentioned before, so you experience a wider fit in these specific boots, but in the standard edition, it should be slightly more narrow. True to size is definitely the way to go with these boots. So we advise you that there is no NHD or non-stop grip applications on the upper, it's purely K leather. So first impressions, we feel this is a classy release by the German brand. The design of the white and gold makes these boots a purest dream. Personally, I wouldn't get close to wearing a wide up boot based on durability issues. So performance wise, extra K leather used on the midfoot and tongue, which will and thus raise comfort levels slightly. In terms of touch, your experience will be very damped and traditional touch, much like the Nike's Tempo Legend 6 boots. So the edge pack cleats are limited edition, so get in quick if you want to get your hands on a pair. There's also a whiteout X15 launched as part of the edge pack as well. There's also a black fluid pack for the Ace and the X, really classic designs as well. I'm a big fan of those blackout boots as well as these whiteout boots. Preferably I would wear a blackout boot over a whiteout boot, but that's just my personal opinion. So big fan of this boot overall. Any questions leave in the comments section below. Thanks to everyone who subscribed to us. We've just recently hit 100,000 subscribers. And thanks for watching and as always, we'll see you next time.